And the answer is yes. The medical history questionnaire filled out by all dental patients allows the doctor, hygienist, to determine what medical problems a patient may have coming into the dental office. The main goal of that health questionnaire is to determine or to find out when you should not treat a patient, which patients are so medically compromised that their medical condition is so much more worse than their dental problem that they shouldn't be in the chair. Now, other than that, by knowing that a patient has a problem such as epilepsy, such as um, angina, they had a stroke a couple of years ago, we want to know for each of these cases how severe the problem is. In other words, does this patient who had uh, a stroke three years ago represent a significant risk of having a second stroke in that dental chair? Or was a stroke they had three years ago mild? And in, in essence, even though they're not perfectly healthy, they're a good risk. So that's what the questionnaire is all about. And any questionnaire, uh, we have the American Dental Association has questionnaires. The University of the Pacific School of Dentistry has online an excellent medical history questionnaire that I have been using in my textbooks and my lectures for a long time. But again, it allows you to determine what factors, what risk factors the patient presents. And that's the goal of a medical history. Mm -hmm.